So we're using the JOSM OpenStreetMap editor to merge in GNS names into the OpenStreetMap database. And you can see I'm currently working on a task. And as always, I start at the bottom and work my way up, going back and forth, up and down the rows. And so I'm sort of starting in on this row right here. And uh, always, you know, the first thing you do is zoom in. And luckily, we have some decent high-res imagery here. But we zoom in and we look for residential areas that might not be marked right around the node that we're about to merge. And the Bing satellite imagery, I don't really see anything unmarked right around here. It's not exactly perfect, as you can see. There's some cloud cover. So I would zoom out a little bit. And again, working up my stack, I would then I'd look at the Landsat 8 normal. I guess these are some sort of pools of water or something. I don't know exactly. It's hard to tell. Anyhow, it's not a settlement. So I don't see anything under Landsat normal coloring. Nothing that isn't already marked. This is marked. That's marked. False color doesn't really show me anything either, so I don't know, whatever, that, that might be something. But I don't really see anything in the Bing imagery. Okay, so I'm going to say that we have all of the residential areas marked. And so the first map that you always check is the U.S. Army JOG map. And we're looking for Packaboo and it looks like we have something called Kapakabu with a K. And so I'll click on this and see if maybe there's an alt name on here. And there's not an alt name on here. So that sure looks like that sure looks like it. So the next thing I'll do is I'll check the AMS nineteen fifty five map. And that one has Packaboo on it. And again it's pretty close. This is not an unreasonable distance from what exists in the imagery to what the AMS map says. That's totally fine. So there's nothing else really around here. So I, I'm gonna think that I'm gonna think that this is it. JOG map shows it with this Kapakabu. And the AMS, I think that's it. I think that we just need to add this as an alternate. We need to add this as an alternate name. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to say this is alternate name one. And I'm going to spell it K Pack Blue. And I'm also going to put the, I'm going to say fix me. I'm going to say confirm name. And then I'm also going to add a note says JOG map uses K pack blue for name and oops and I'm gonna turn off that and I'm gonna zoom in and center that one up and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and merge it and then I'm gonna move on to the next one in the row here which is Nyahoon, and we sort of already looked for residential areas. I don't see any non-marked residential areas right around here. Quick check with the Landsat imagery. I don't think so. I, I think all the residential areas are probably marked for this one. So I'm going to check the JOG map and cross my fingers, and the JOG map has a Niahoon on it, and it looks to me like it's probably this settlement right here. You can also, you know, you can look when you're doing this, if these things aren't matching up or if it's difficult, look at the roads and look at where they place the node in relation to the road. So there's a hump in the road, and this appears to be right after the hump in the road. So I can actually see that in the imagery itself. There's the hump in the road, and there there's the first settlement right on that side of the hump, which matches up pretty well with what the JOG map says. So I'm going to guess this is Niahoon. Just for kicks, we'll look at the AMS map. 
Eh, AMS map, this is pretty typical for AMS map. You can see if we only had the AMS map to work with, we wouldn't really be sure. We couldn't be sure which which of these three settlements it was, but luckily, luckily the JOG map helps us specify it's it's this settlement, so I feel pretty good about that. So we'll take the flag skip tag off and we'll zoom in and center this up. And then we'll merge it and call it done. And we'll move on to the next one.